All I think about is music. Everything I see, hear, feel turns into a song, and I, I try to turn it off, but I can't. So I figured I... You figured I was wrong. That I had a gift. I'm so beyond what words can say about the movie because it literally fell into my lap at a time where I had just parted ways with my management, I didn't know what was going on with my label, and it has been the most amazing blessing, I think, um, since winning. I didn't know I could have another life-changing event so quickly, um, but I think when this movie comes out, I don't know what's coming, but I'm buckling up my seatbelt and kind of just hanging on to the seat. I keep watching the trailer over and over and over again, and I'm like, okay, this is real now. It's real, this is actually happening. I have a movie coming out. It's, it's Whitney's last project. I have a song with her on the soundtrack that was the, one of the last songs she ever sang. It's heavy, but at the same time, it's such a celebration of her because it was her baby, and she was so proud of it. Stay so clean, cause I'm the man. Yeah, y'all like that, huh? Make you wanna dance, huh? Get it, mama. Mama gonna get it. And you will too. Keep dancing like that, you bring home some kids you can't feed. <laughs> Working with Whitney was one of those things that as, as a kid, listening to her music and, and singing her songs into a hairbrush, it's one of those things where you're like, wow, it would be amazing to meet her one day, just get a picture. When I got the part in the movie, it was like, okay, she's gonna be an executive producer. I was like, cool, I'll get to, you know, see her from time to time. And then she was playing the mom and she would walk in and she just would make everybody laugh and make everybody feel welcome and okay. She would just sing out of nowhere. And I'd be sitting there going, man, people would just pay to hear this. And um, then there was another time when I was singing I Have Nothing under my breath. Cause you know, you're around her, you just, you're thinking of all the songs she's singing. and I. I didn't realize she was right behind me. And she grabbed my arm and went, oh, and I was like, what? And she goes, I forgot I sang that song. And I was like, how, what? How do you forget that you, that's one of your biggest songs ever? Like, how do you forget that? And then she went on to just describe all these stories about like, you know, she walked into the recording studio and she was six months pregnant and she didn't want to be there and she didn't want to do it and she was tired and the baby was kicking her and she did that song in three takes, she told me. And I was just like, okay, I got some work to do. As I lay me down, heaven hear me now. Just to be able to watch her, she had this wisdom behind her eyes and this sense of knowing. And obviously we all know about the ups and downs that she went through and, and the things that she'd gone through. And she was real about that. She never hid it. She never seemed ashamed of it. And that was something that was really cool to see somebody who was so just knew who they were. The fact that she, you know, was fighting demons and the fact that she had fought demons and the fact that she was this amazing supernova diva and the voice, yet she would walk in the room and she, you would feel like she was your best friend. Like, it was just the craziest thing to see. And for me, I took from that that, you know, no matter what happens, we're all gonna have battles that we fight, we're all gonna have, you know, accomplishments that we make, but at the end of the day, we have to be, you know, happy, and we have to be happy in ourselves and, you know, what we've done. And I would sit down and think and go, okay, I'm, I'm okay with this. Like if, if I was to go tomorrow, I would be okay with what I've, what I've done here on this earth. Like I'd, I'd be okay with that. And that's what I took from her. She was amazing. And this movie is definitely gonna be a celebration of that. She looked fantastic. And I think people are gonna be really excited to see her in this, this different light and to see just how happy she is in this film. There's no more fighting left. Sinking to rise no more. Searching for that open door